Greetings, this is Natasha L. Brown, your coach, author, and speaker. We are going to be dealing with trusting the process, knowing when to assist and when not to assist. And so definitely something that most of us need. And the thought process is more so um, came to me as a parent. Because, you know, when you have children, you have to trust what you've put in your children. Sometimes you can see the progression and know what they're going to do. And sometimes they'll get into situations where you're not sure what they'll do, but you're excited and relieved when they make the right decisions. So definitely trust in the process can mean a lot of different things, but we want to get into a position where we are focusing on when to assist and not to assist on a workplace. If you are someone that has trained people and many um, people do trainings. So if you train someone and then you release them to do whatever you've trained them to do, you have to trust that they learned and that you put enough into them in order to move forward and be productive. So trusting who you are and what you are doing on a regular basis is definitely a big part of who we are thank you so much for the likes as you come in go ahead and share the broadcast and if you are seeing this based on a share go ahead and go over to natasha l brown and like the page and click on see first so that you'll know when i'm posting notifications as well as you can go to new peace wellness with natasha or the now proverbs 31 woman like both of those pages as well so there are so many different things that we can equate to trust in the process, but the process goes a little smoother when you have goals. And if you have goals and you are staying focused and making sure you're on track, even if the routine is not something that can take place on a regular basis and you have to kind of adjust and modify, you still have the goal, the reason why you're doing what you're doing. So that's always a good thing. Diversifying yourself, making sure, first of all, that you are putting yourself in a position where you are loving yourself enough to be able to function on a regular basis, not experiencing stress and overwhelm, burnout. You're not in a place where you cannot function at your best, but diversifying. You know, if you're taking on everything, if you have a need to please, or if you are, um, you have a savior or a hero complex, then that's something definitely you need to be working on. That should be on your list of goals so that you can make sure that that's not something you're doing on a regular basis. Many times, and this is the year of no, I talked about it a little bit before, but definitely practicing saying no in many situations that do not benefit what I am doing. Because if you are doing 15 things at one time and you're saying yes to other things, then definitely you're going to be overwhelmed, you're going to be burnt out, you're going to be in a place where you cannot function as at an optimal level for your life personally or otherwise your professional life if you're running a business you you can't give anything if you don't refill and replenish yourself there are a lot of things that we do on a daily basis that can help us maintain and make sure we have that balance thank you so much for sharing oh that's my sister hello natalie but when we don't fill ourselves up, when we don't replenish, when we get into a place where we are constantly giving and never receiving, there is a break in the cycle. And when there's a break in the cycle, what begins to happen is you begin to deteriorate. And as you begin to deteriorate, you'll be so busy that you won't even realize that you're losing yourself that you are slowly dying, that you are slowly giving out everything you have and you have nothing to give back. So what are the things that you do on a regular basis to replenish yourself? What are you doing on a regular basis to trust the process of what you have poured into everyone around you? What, what is the process that you do? So many people that love to say yes, or like I said, have a hero complex, you try to do everything and it's not even possible to do everything. So knowing when to say no, knowing when to say yes, knowing how to make sure you maintain that balance and take out time for yourself. You know, we give time to everyone else and that's where that diversity comes in. You have to diversify and make sure that you put yourself 
on the schedule and in the mix because if you don't then you are going to begin to go in a, a downward spiral basically so if i'm handing out out of my cup giving letting allowing everyone to drink out of my cup and i never replenish it at some point the cup is going to be empty and an empty vessel definitely is not having anything to give back to pour into others so make sure that you are diversifying the answer to whatever the situation is is always within us and many times we are not thinking about that we don't get into a place where we listen to what our bodies are saying and that is a big part of holistic coaching you know what knowing what your body is saying there are many positive things there are many negative things are you giving your body what it needs and what it should be getting food wise exercise wise are you hydrating properly are you getting restful sleep are you doing what it takes for your body and everyone can't do the same thing that's why i don't um, push diets and diet start die d-i-e so that you have to kill off something in order to be successful in any diet so if you are focused on maintaining a, a holistic lifestyle or a healthier lifestyle than what you're doing now then you're going to be more successful than someone that is dieting so getting in mind trusting the process do you trust what you've learned and if you're not doing self-development then you you can't trust anything because you don't you're not pouring into yourself you're constantly giving out but if you're doing self-development reading a great book um, in your specialty or something you want to learn taking a class it doesn't necessarily have to be a college course taking a class somewhere for something you want to learn or something you would like to do even a, a hobby taking a class and getting with like-minded people what are you pouring into yourself are you resting on a regular basis not just sleeping but resting taking time out to make sure you are replenishing yourself on a mental spiritual and physical basis are you loving yourself in a way that is going to be productive and conducive for all involved and a lot of times we don't think about that what would happen if you did not take care of you if all of a sudden you just um you, you don't necessarily have to die let's use work as an example or school if you were no longer there how would you be remembered have you made a difference in anyone's life where you are have you gone forward and poured into anyone have you allowed anyone to pour into you remember that cycle that giving and receiving that cycle if you break that cycle then you know it's hard to say you're a giver if you don't know how to receive and it's hard to say that you're a receiver if you don't know how to give so definitely you have to keep in mind what is going on with you not just your body but mentally what's going on sometimes we are so exhausted we don't know until we wake up you know you get somewhere you sit down and you completely fall asleep because you are so exhausted but what is it that people will remember about you if you are not making yourself unforgettable what are you doing where you are how are you serving your purpose so we don't you know many people go through life on a day-to-day -day basis doing the same thing driving the same way to wherever their destination is on a daily basis not deviating not doing anything different but making sure that they are keeping a responsible standard for someone else's dream what have you done over the last 30 60 90 days personally to further whatever your goals are and I just want you to think about that the last 30 60 and 90 days and if you haven't done anything personally to make sure that you're moving forward then let me give you a few tips and I thought this list was a really good list so you need to make concentrated goals you know not just general overview things but things that you really want to do that you can achieve and even if you can't achieve it you can work toward it making sure that you're on track know how reaching the goal will bring about a positive um, effect on your life so don't just set the goal 
Make sure you have a why as to why you have set the goal, how the goal is going to affect your everyday life, how the goal is going to affect your life one, two, five years from now. What's going to take place in your life if you um, achieve this goal? Break your goals down into short milestones. And I talked about this before. You know, we reach a milestone and, you know, you graduate from something, you get a promotion. And sometimes we don't take in and we're not grateful for a long enough period of time to really realize what took place. or even realize how we got there, how we achieved that success. So taking time to celebrate the milestones, and you may have to write out your own milestones depending on what your goal is. Take time to celebrate, take time to appreciate how you got there. Take time to be grateful. Schedule a time that you're gonna work on your goal and put it on the calendar on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, Definitely, you don't want to go any further than bi-weekly, but make sure that you have scheduled a time to work on your goal. 30 minutes, an hour, however long you think you need at a particular point to work on that goal. And try not to do it at the end of the night before you go to bed when you're already exhausted and tired, because most likely you're not going to stick with that schedule. Also, find an accountability partner, a family, a friend, a co-worker, someone that can hold you accountable and even get involved in what you're doing so that they can achieve their own goals as well. So an accountability partner is always something good to have no matter what your goal is that you're trying to achieve. And then once you achieve that goal, definitely celebrate bigger than you did when you hit the milestone. So what we want to do is keep in mind that trusting the process of knowing when to assist and when not to assist. If you are someone that is, um, I, I, I don't want to say in charge of everything, but you, you have a lot of responsibility, regardless of whether it's your home life, regardless of whether it's your work life, regardless of whether you are a leader in school, whatever you're doing, ministry, whatever you are doing, if you are the one that's always bearing the burden, then make sure that you take time out to just step back and trust what you've put into those that are around you, those that are assisting you, those that are co-laboring with you. Trust the process of when to assist and when not to assist. Just like with our personal selves, you know, when is it that I need to stop and rest? When is it that I need to stop and eat? If I can have a schedule on a daily basis and eat at the same time, it definitely helps the body digest and eliminate on a regular basis as well. Have I scheduled um, or use an alert for hydration, making sure that I get the proper amount of water each day? You know, what little thing can I do to improve my day and lighten my load? So definitely want to make sure that you diversify, not giving out constantly, but learning how to receive and learning how to maintain who you are by what you're doing. Having those goals definitely make a big difference. And if you haven't set any goals for the remainder of the year, now's the perfect time. Take the next 30 days, set some goals. What are you going to do over the next 30 days to personally be productive? So that way you can look back and say what you've done and what you need to improve on for the next 30 days. So it's always a great way to gauge and then be encouraged, definitely. Because if you can't see what you're doing and where your successes are, it becomes discouraging doing the same thing over and over every day. So get a gauge point. Start journaling your successes. Start journaling how grateful you are for those successes. Take time to love on you. So definitely always selflessly selfish is our theme. That's the subtitle to my latest book, The Now Proverbs 31 Woman. You know, Mother's Day will be coming up. Birthdays always um, going on. And you, if you have a great woman in your life and she has not read my book or she doesn't have it, you can get an electronic copy or you can order it on the page here on Facebook. The Now Proverbs 31 Woman as well as you can go to natashalbrown.com and order the book, natashalbrown.com, and pick up a copy of the book there.
So definitely, I appreciate you sharing. I appreciate you commenting. Live or in the replay. Thank you so much for your love. And as always, remember, self-love is your superpower. I love you. And I'm Natasha L. Brown. Enjoy your day.